All right, North Carolina is seeing COVID-19 cases surge right now. The entire state will stay in phase two for the next three weeks. And this is why. Take a look at the numbers here. There were more than 1,000 new confirmed cases in just 24 hours. That takes the total to more than 57,000 since the outbreak began. 1,290 people have died in the Tar Heel State. Governor Roy Cooper ordered a statewide mask requirement that begins tomorrow. 13 News Now reporter Adriana Dialba went to Dare County where that requirement is already in effect. Well, North Carolina was thousands of cases behind Virginia for quite some time, but recently things have changed pretty drastically. Cases here are now climbing and health officials say this is concerning not only for North Carolina, but parts of Virginia as well. Coronavirus cases in North Carolina continue to climb, leading Governor Roy Cooper to put phase three on hold. The Tar Heel State will stay in phase two for another three weeks, and starting tomorrow, a mandatory mask order begins for all public places across the state. Here in Dare County, health officials made mask a requirement this past Sunday. Visitors from out of state, like Anna Smith, having to mask up on vacation. Um, I don't mind wearing a mask. It's not a big deal to me. If it's helpful to prevent spread, I'm totally willing to do it. The requirement comes after health officials in North Carolina report a continuous climb in positive cases of COVID-19. Steve Mason is visiting Duck from out of state. We're wearing masks to protect other people. We're not doing it to protect ourselves. So, I mean, do the right thing and protect other people. The spike in cases across North Carolina is concerning for both the Tar Heel State and parts of southeastern Virginia. Here's EVMS Dr. Edward Oldfield. In North Carolina, there's a lot of uh, back and forth across that border. People coming from North Carolina to work in southeastern Virginia and Southampton Roads. And there's no question if the rates go up in North Carolina and those people come to work here, uh, there's a potential for transmission. Oldfield says masks are key in preventing further spread between states, and the people we met today don't really mind putting them on. I'm used to it. In Derrick County, Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now.